How to get the new copper blocks in Minecraft 1.21. In Minecraft 1.21, there have been five new copper blocks added. I'll go through how to get these copper blocks, differences with the copper version, and how they work in the case of the copper bulb. The new copper blocks are in the 1.21 update. They are currently in the snapshots. If there are any changes, I'll do an updated video. How to get the new copper blocks in Minecraft 1.21. With all of these copper blocks, they work the same as other copper blocks. They will oxidize from copper to oxidize, going from an orange copper to a green color. They can also be waxed with the honeycomb in the crafting table or the honeycomb can be clicked on the block. Lastly, they can have the last layer of oxidation removed by scraping it off with the axe or remove the wax to keep it oxidizing. If you want to know more about oxidizing copper blocks, I'll have a card on the top right. The first copper block is a chiseled copper block. This is crafted with two cut copper slabs of the same oxidation. The stone cutter is way more efficient at crafting blocks. The chiseled copper block will have an X on the side with a square in the middle and a border on the sides. Next is the copper door. The recipe is 6 copper and gets crafts 3 copper doors in the crafting table. The copper door works the same as other doors being open, closed, or powered by redstone. After this is a copper trap door. The crafting recipe is 6 copper and gets crafts 2 copper trap doors in the crafting table. Like the door, this can be open, closed, and powered by redstone. I was curious if I Either of these doors would have some properties like the iron doors, but they do not. Next is the copper grate. The crafting recipe is four copper blocks of the same type craft four copper grates in this pattern in the crafting table. Copper grates is an interesting new block as it can be waterlogged, meaning water can be placed inside of it. Also, the block is transparent so light can pass through it and it cannot be powered by redstone. Also, because it is transparent, mobs can't spawn on them and mobs can't suffocate if their head is inside of the copper grate. I think this is a great new addition in the game as it gives you a decorative block that acts like a glass block but looks completely different. Plus they have different colors depending on the oxidation. Last is the copper bulb. The crafting recipe is three copper blocks of the same type, a blaze rod, and a piece of redstone dust crafts four copper bulbs in this pattern in the crafting table. The copper bulb is a new light emitting block. It will output a light level depending on the level of oxidation. At copper it is 15, exposed is 12, weathered is 8, and oxidized is 4. The unique part of the copper bulb is that it only has to be powered by a redstone signal once to turn on and emit a light, and can be unpowered by being powered again by a redstone signal. When a redstone comparator is facing out from the copper bulb, it will output a signal of 15 no matter the oxidation. The copper bulb is useful in redstone as it can act as a T flip flop. The simplest way to explain this is that you can turn on the copper bulb, it can power a redstone circuit or a farm and turning off the copper bulb could unpower it. That's the simplest version but it can be put into a lot of different redstone circuits and has a lot of possible applications.